What's up, DK back with this Click Magic tutorial. And also if you're checking out the affiliate program too, uh, you can hit that link in the description down below and you can take a two week free trial if you're looking to see if Click Magic is a fit for you. Now this is part of a Click Magic training and, and video series. So if you haven't seen the other videos in this Click Magic tutorial, link in the description down below, you can go see the very first video I talked about how to set up a basic tracking link, okay? So obviously, if you're, you know, you want to start tracking uh, button clicks on your website, whether you're running ads, sending people to a capture page, a website page, whatever it is, the very first video in this series, we talked about how to set up a basic tracking link. Now in this video, okay, I want to walk you through how to create an opt-in rate. So as an example, what you can see here on your screen is there's a lot of different links here, okay? So this is just some examples and most of these links that I'm tracking right here. These are all basic like affiliate links. So you'll notice that there's two things that we're tracking here. You have a, a, a total click and a unique click, okay? So uh, really quick, the difference between the two is a unique click is every one person that goes and clicks on your link. Now, let's say I go to a page and as an example, we'll just kind of, uh, let's say I go here, okay? Let's say I go to like a website like this, right? I go to a website here and I go and I click on this button. That is one unique click. Now, if I come back to this page three times and I click on the button three more times for a total of four clicks, right? That would be, you know, according to Click Magic, that would be one unique click and four total clicks. So that's the difference, you know, ultimately between a, a total click and a unique click, okay? Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand, but just so you guys know, uh, watching this, understanding these. Now, what we're gonna figure out, looking at all these links that I have here, really, I'm just measuring clicks. Most of the links that you see here on your screen, most of these go out in an email, right? So I'm a, I'm a big email marketer. I have a free training series on email marketing. Again, link in the description down below. You can see what system and software that I use. Um, I like to keep kind of everything under one roof for me, like one low cost. So, I mean, you know, I'll just call it what it is. Like I use uh, Builderall because literally for like a hundred bucks, less than a hundred bucks a month, you can have your SMS messaging, your email and your page building all under one roof and it's less than hundred bucks a month versus say, now nothing against ClickFunnels. I'm a big ClickFunnels fan. I've been using them for six years, but you know, I pay $297 a month for ClickFunnels, you know, and that's page building. Yeah, you can tie in emails to that, but it's, it's a little more complex and it's not as simple and it's easy to use as Builderall. So Builderall, you can do it all for less than hundred bucks a month. And you can have like the three major things that you need as an entrepreneur, as a, you know, affiliate network marketer, you know, your SMS messaging, your email marketing and your page building all under one roof for under hundred bucks a month. I mean, to me, it's just kind of a no brainer. So if you want to see that, I have a series that walks you through how to get started, what to use, how to use it, all that stuff. That's in the description down below. If you want to go check that out now, let's get back to this. So most of these links here, these are basic links that I'll send out in an email. So I like to know like how many people are clicking on uh, what link and that sort of thing. But what I want to show you in this specific video here is how to go create an opt-in rate. So in other words, if you're going to start tracking an opt-in rate. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to take a basic capture page like this, right? And you want to start tracking an opt-in rate. So in other words, if you're driving traffic, either, you know, solo ads or Facebook ads or Google ads, Bing ads, whatever it is, and you want to start tracking an opt-in rate so you can tell how many times someone goes to your capture page and how many times they're actually entering their email and they're opting in, then pay attention to this training because that's exactly what I'm going to go over. Now, it is a little bit of a process, okay? This isn't something like, you know, hey, boom, there's a little bit of a process here that you want to know and understand, okay? So you're going to have to create two separate links, okay? Create two separate links. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to create the demo capture page. So we have the first link. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go create a second link. And those two links, believe it or not, are actually gonna talk to each other. And I'm gonna show you how that's done. So in order to create, I'll show you guys in, in this specific example here, 
when someone goes to this capture page and let's say they, you know, they enter their email address and then they go through and then they go through the capture page. So like I'll show you here. So boom. And now they're going to land on this page right here. So what we want to know is every time someone lands on this page, it needs to communicate back to the first page to track, hey, they hit the capture page and that same person also hit the that same person also hit the sales page. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to track this. Okay, so what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our sales page link. Okay, and I think I might have to end up copying that twice because of how Click Magic works. Now we're gonna go over here to rotator. So this is not going to be a tracking link. We're actually gonna set up a rotator link. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, are we actually rotating links? No, we're not. And we need to use the rotator link for a very specific reason, okay? So before we get into that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the rotator link and we'll call this CM test demo rotator. Okay, or we'll, you know, I'll call this, uh, we'll call this sales page, call it sales page, okay? And the slug again, you don't need to worry about the slug. No one's really going to see the slug. It's literally just going to be in a super quick URL as it kind of passes the link on along to where they're going. But there's a couple of things that you got to pay attention to here. So, okay. So if you're going to create, you're trying to create an opt-in tracking link so you can track your opt-in rates when someone goes to your form, your web page, your capture page. Okay. So we're just going to name this, um, you know, we'll name this SP for sales page demo. Okay. Now you're gonna have to select a rotator mode. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. I, I typically just go with fulfillment. I'm gonna leave it at that. And now you have to put a backup URL. This is not, this is not the URL that ultimately. So in other words, if you want someone to land on this sales page here, this is not the link that you're using for the backup URL. The backup URL is just that. It's a backup just in case the other link doesn't work. So for me, you can you can make your backup link ultimately whatever you want. The backup link, it never really goes to that. So in this particular situation, it's not gonna go to that. If you're gonna create a link rotator and you're gonna do, you know, I'll show you this in another video, but just if, if you're using it for this specific pur purpose of tracking the opt-in percentage, then you really don't need to worry about the backup URL. The backup URL comes into play when you're actually setting up rotators. You know, so if you're an affiliate or network marketer and you want to do a link rotators for your team, I'll show you that. We'll do that in another video because that's a little more complex, a little more in depth. And that's where the backup URL will come into play, but it's not going to come into play here, but you do have to have something in there. Okay. So I'm just going to leave my website in there and then we're going to simply hit create rotator. So. We're not done yet. There's two more things that we need to do here. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna copy this link again. And we're gonna do two more things. Now we're gonna to go to our, I'm just gonna find the rotator link now. All right, CM de de test, C <laughs> click magic test demo sales page. Tongue twister right there. So now what we're gonna do, and obviously we don't have any clicks there yet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sales page in. So from here, once we actually create the base link, now what we're gonna do is over here, you're gonna go to this little wrench and we're gonna hit add URL. Okay, we're gonna hit add URL. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add in the real sales page where we want people to land. So I'm gonna call this, uh, this is my uh, primary business opportunity here. So I'm just gonna call this uh, SHG sales page and I'll even call it demo, right? And now what I'm, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that link in there and I'm gonna hit add rotator URL. So what does that mean? I'm gonna come back here. Okay, I'm gonna grab the main link that we set up. I'm gonna copy that. And again, we'll come over here. I'll paste that. As you can see, it passes, doesn't go to the backup URL. It's not gonna go to my website. It passes through that and it goes right to the URL, the sales page URL, and that's exactly where we want it to go. Okay. So it did its job. Now, one more piece of information. So as the way that it's set up right now, this will not track. Okay. This is not going to track your opt-in percentage. Not yet. There's still one more thing that we need to do 
in order to make that happen, okay? All right, so from here, in order to get a conversion pixel, and that's exactly what we're looking for, is something called a conversion pixel. It's gonna track your conversion. So in other words, when someone goes to your capture page, your opt-in page, your form, and then they go through that and they land on the sales page, you want to track the conversion. So from here, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to here where it says learn, okay? I'm gonna click on learn. I don't think there's any other place to find it unless it happens to be in here. Uh, link builder, batch editor, no. I know, I know specifically where you can find it. So in other words, if we go here, uh, we're gonna click on learn, okay? And then we're gonna hit knowledge base. So what specifically you're looking for is the conversion pixel, okay? So you're just gonna type that in there and hit enter. And then you're gonna see this line, the second line that says, how do I track conversion with tracking links and tracking pixels? I'm gonna click on that. And then what you're looking for is the pixel builder, which is right here. So you're gonna click on uh, the pixel builder. That's gonna take you over here. And what you're looking to track is your action. So this is, this is literally it right here. You don't actually have to enter anything in here unless you want a specific value on your link. But again, that's another complicated step that you don't need to do. Okay, so here you go, track your conversion pixel. This is the code right here. So we're just gonna copy that or you could just hit the little copy to clipboard guy right there. Okay, so we're gonna copy that. That's the, that's the conversion pixel code that we're looking for. And then we're gonna come back here to our rotators. Okay, we're gonna go CM test demo sales page where we wanna go. And right here where it says pixels, that's where we're gonna place that piece of code and we're gonna hit save changes. Okay, now there's a piece of code on your sales page. So as an example, when someone lands on your sales page, in order to get through there, in order to get to that sales page, they have to go through your tracking link, they trigger the pixel, and then boom, that right there, my friend, is how you get the opt-in percent. So you can see your opt-in percent when someone goes through your capture page, when someone goes through your form, et cetera, you're gonna be able to see those numbers. now. How do you install that? Well, it's it's pretty simple. I'll show you uh, from a Builderall standpoint. I can show you from a ClickFunnels standpoint. Either way, it's, it's kind of the same process. So right here, let's go grab our ClickMagic link, okay? So again, remember, we're grabbing the first rotator link that we set up, not the link within a link. We're grabbing the first, okay, rotator link that we set up, okay? We're gonna copy that. And if you're going to go to, you know, your page builder, your form, whatever it is, as an example, I'm just going to grab any one of these uh, capture pages that I have here. So now after someone goes to your capture page, we're inside the builder here. So when someone goes to your capture page, once they enter their information, their name, email, phone, just their email, whatever it is. Now what you're going to do is you want to set up the redirect to go to your sales page, your thank you page, your bridge page, wherever you want to send them, wherever you're trying to track that opt-in rate. So as an example here in Builderall, I'm just going to hit here where it says set link. And this, this would be the same thing in uh, ClickFunnels or any other page builder. And you can see right here, sub subscribe confirm. So what's that mean? Anytime that person goes and they enter their email and they enter the form, it's going to forward it through to my ClickMagic sales page link or your thank you page or bridge page wherever it is you're sending them and that is going to help measure your percentage okay so that's that's how that works and i know yes that was a you know uh, a very overly you know maybe somewhat complicated maybe somewhat heavily detailed uh, explanation of how to create an opt-in percentage so you can start tracking in other words i showed you here in another account is if you want to start tracking some of these opt-in rates so you can see, hey, you know, this this particular click magic link got a 27.7% opt-in rate, or this capture page got a 27% opt-in rate, this capture page got a 30% opt-in rate. So we know, you know, after thousands of clicks, we know which page converts better. So if you want to track that opt-in rate, that's how you do it. Okay. Just to recap real quick, go back to the first video, you create your first tracking link, then you create your main rotator link all right you set up your conversion pixel okay then you go through and you create that 
you add a rotator link to your rotator. And I know this is, again, just go back and watch this over again if you need to, okay? So you need to make sure that you go and you add a URL, okay, to your rotator link. And then that is the page that it's going to land on, okay? So that's how it's done. Hope you got value from this Click Magic tutorial and you now understand how to set up a conversion link and you need to know how to understand those uh, tracking pixels with Click Magic. So in the next video, we're gonna dive into split testing. Really simple, really easy to do once you uh, kind of go through it once or twice. And in that next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'll see you on the next Click Magic tutorial video. Have a good one and I'll see you there. Take care.